Hi, you look great. How's your... What? Um, I was just going to say, how's your job? Fine, fine. Vice President of nothing. Not really. Would you like a drink? I'll have whatever she's having. White wine. Wine. How's Billy? Terrific. He had a little accident in the park a couple of weeks ago. He cut himself. It was really scary. I ran all the way to the hospital. He was going to have a teeny scar, but he's going to be okay. I was worrying that it was my fault. No, don't do that. You can't even see it from a distance. You... Sometimes I sit in my coffee shop across the street from the school and watch him. You've been watching so big. You've been watching him from the coffee shop? Well, I've been in New York for a couple of months now, so... I didn't know that. Anyway, that's why I wanted to talk to you today. Huh? Last time you saw me, I was in a pretty bad shape. Shape? I was. I was. Why, you look lovely now. <laughs> I had a whole speech. What? No. Go ahead. Come on. Well, um, all my life I felt like somebody's wife or somebody's mother or somebody's daughter. Even all the time we were together, I never knew who I was. And that's why I had to go away. And in California, I think I found myself. I got myself a job. And I got myself a therapist, a really good one. And I feel better about myself than I ever have in my whole life. I've learned a great deal about myself. Such as? No, I really would like to know what well, you learned. I've learned that I love my little boy, but I'm capable of taking care of him. What do you mean? I want my son. You can't have him. Don't get defense. I'm not getting defense. Don't try to bully me. Look, I'm not the one who left the house 15 months ago. I don't care. I'm still his mother. Yeah, from 3,000 miles away. I mean, just because you sent a few thousand postcards doesn't make you have the right to come back. I never stopped loving him. I never stopped wanting him. What if he doesn't want you? What makes you so sure he doesn't want me? Okay, we can sit back and forth and talk about this like it was for the last eight years. It's just like old times. You can't deny me access. Don't tell me what I can do and what I can't do. Don't talk to me like that. <laughs> I've anticipated this whole thing. Look, well, you know, I don't want to get into this. I mean, you're going to have to do what you're going to have to do, and I'm going to have to do what I'm going to have to do. Just do what you have to do. Okay. All right. I'm very sorry about this.